Welcome to Fabian Seed Farm's Virtual Crop Tours. I'm Patrick Fabian. In this series of videos, we bring to you examples of crops that we're growing on our farm so that you can have a better look at them up close and see if they're a proper fit for your operation. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at a triticale variety, a fall triticale specifically, that uh, might be of interest to cattle producers as well as cover crop enthusiasts. The variety is Bobcat. The variety Bobcat is gaining popularity with cattle producers. The reason for it is the variety is a semi onleted or reduced on expression variety. What that means in simple terms is it's almost beardless. Comparing it here to a bearded type you can see how much shorter the beards are, or the ons are, compared to the older type. Cattlemen prefer the shorter type ons primarily because they feel that it gives a less chance for lump jaw problems in their livestock operation. The Bobcat triticale variety is adapted to all regions of North America where cereals can be grown. One of the features of Bobcat fall triticale is the fact that livestock producers can actually plant this in the spring. It will not go to a head because it has to go through a vernalization process so it will continue to grow like a salad bar out in the field and then that allows for grazing operations to take place and then recovery growth. Another option for cattle producers is to seed this in the fall or right after silage is taken off and even mixing it with some of their companion crops like tillage radish where you can put the two together and let them grow. Once they die out in the winter time the cattle can be turned out for grazing. Combining it works very well as far as a, a variety for being able to produce a large plump kernel that is being well accepted in the feed industry. Some of the distilleries are actually purchasing triticale grain for their distillery process for making their products. Another opportunity that a lot of people are taking advantage of is the cover crop aspect. This is taking off huge in the United States and is starting to make inroads in Canada. The area of adaptability for Bobcat Fall Triticale is practically all of North America. We have clients that are down in the southern states that use it as well as into the northern Alberta and northern Saskatchewan areas. It's very, very winter hardy. In fact, where we are here is probably one of the harshest areas for winter survivability. We can be sustaining uh, snowfall with uh, temperatures down below minus 30 Celsius and then all of a sudden we'll get a Chinook wind that comes in through the Rocky Mountains elevating the temperature up to about 10 degrees Celsius. We lose all our ground cover and then it'll drop back down again. This variety actually has very good tolerance for uh, winter hardiness and uh, winter kill prevention. The lodging resistance of this variety is excellent. This currently is a field that's being grown under pivot irrigation and we have zero areas of lodging. The standing, standability is very, very good. If there's any drawback to triticale, it would be for those that are silaging. They say that it chops a little bit harder than barley, but the feature that they like about it is they can get into their fields substantially faster with higher tonnage because it is a fall seeded cereal. That also gives you the ability to break up your workload. The variety that we're talking about today is Bobcat Fall Triticale. If you have any questions that you want to ask regarding this variety, agronomics or availability, feel free to contact me. You can call me or text me at 403-633-9999. If you follow on Twitter, I'm AB Seedman. Or just go to our website, fabianseedfarms.com, and you can contact us through there as well. Thank you for taking the time to take in this virtual crop tour on Bobcat Fall Triticale. I'm Patrick Fabian. Have a great day.